she is, here she is. Hello. Oh, look. Oh. How are you? I'm great. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's your name? My name's Darcy Lynn. Okay, and Darcy, who's that? My name's Petunia. Oh, it talks. <laughs> is it a bunny? Yes. Uh. Is that a real bunny? <laughs> well, we're going to find out. <laughs> OK. And Darcy, why did you both decide to enter the show? Well, it was one of my big dreams. Um, but also, I would really like to keep uh, ventriloquism alive because it's not common, you know? So. <laughs> well, listen, Darcy, best of luck. I really hope you both Thank do well. Thank you so much. All right, good luck. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're going to sing? Oh boy. <laughs> so I'm guessing is exactly like you, very charming and adorable. You made my heart melt. You were brilliant. <laughs> I'm trying to describe how amazing it was. <gasps> you know what? And if you have Cummings and I'm a ventriloquist. Aww. How old are you? Um, I'm 12. Where are you from? Uh, we're from Pawpaw, Michigan. How did you get into doing this? How did you know you could do this? Um, well, it was actually, I remember seeing Darcy Lynn on AGT and that um, inspired me. I literally looked at my parents as soon as I saw it and I went, that's what I'm gonna do. Aww. So. <laughs> And look at you now, right here in front of us. That's amazing. What are you gonna do if you win $1 million? I mean, it's 
a big thing, but probably I'd like to follow in Darcy's footsteps and uh, start touring uh, to get like a tour bus. And I also really want a bearded dragon. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, we're ready. Go ahead. Right. All right, Penelope, it's our big moment. Are you ready for me to cue the music? I don't want to sing anymore. What? This is what we've practiced for weeks. I've been thinking about it, and it's been done. They want to see something else, something new. <laughs> but we haven't practiced anything else. What's your plan? I've got it! Mentalism! Mentalism? Wait, what? I don't mind, Reed. Quit playing around. Let's just sing the song. Trust me. Take me down to the judges. Is that allowed? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Good. Good. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, stop worrying. Seriously, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It's okay, we'll use a deck of cards. Check your pocket. Wait, what? Ta-da! <laughs> Heidi, yes. I'd like you to cut the deck one time. Howie, I'd like you to take the top card. All right. Drin, look away and close your eyes. Show me the card. I will send my thoughts to Drin using my brilliant mental powers. What do I do now? Just concentrate. What comes to mind? A migraine. Drin! <laughs> okay, I'm focused. I see. I think it's black. That's it. Keep thinking. It's a club. Is it the seven of clubs? Open your eyes. Oh my oh, gosh! That's... What? Yeah, that's amazing. That's crazy. Judges, in a moment, we're going to go back on stage. But as we do, Sophia. Hi. Please take out any item from your purse, but keep it hidden for now. Okay. Simon, please turn out into the audience and grab an object. Any object from anyone. Yep, in the audience. And judges, don't let us see what you picked. Do not let us see what you picked. Let's make this a little more interesting. Terry, can you bring out the blindfold? Blindfold? <laughs> Terry, inspect the blindfold. Hold it up to the light. Can you see through it? No, I can't. Perfect. Please put it on the ring. Okay. Make it, make it nice and tight. Nice and tight. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you, Terry. You can go. You can leave now. Ah. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're gonna figure out what objects the judges are holding. Sophia, hold your object up into the air. Then clear your mind. <laughs> so Dren, what do you see? I see it's a food. Um, it might be, it has some sugar in it. Um, it might be like a good treat. Maybe you leave it when Santa comes. Is it a cookie? Sophia, what was your object? It's an oatmeal cookie! Oh my gosh! Since you're doing so well, you're gonna try this one solo. Penelope, come on, I need your help. Fine, here's a clue. Simon's object can fit inside of this room. Penelope, <laughs> come on. Wait, wait, I'm getting something. It's, it's an accessory. Um, you might wear it on your ankle. No, you wear it on your wrist. Uh, is it an Apple Watch? Uh, yes. Wow. Oh my gosh! Wow! Thank you, everyone! It's so great to see you right up close, how good <laughs> you're doing it. I loved it. Thank you so much. This is the season of mashups. The fact that you did magic or mentalism and ventriloquism at the same time, you're amazing, young Thank lady. Thank you so much. Yes, yes. I love 
needed to because you really figured out like a perfect little act for yourself. You're part comedian too. <laughs> I thought it was a lot of fun. Well done. Thank you so much. When did you realize that you have magic powers? Um, when I was about nine years old, I would say. Ah. That's cool. You are so talented, so charming. People are going to root for you. You did something we've never seen before. And for me, you never want to see the same thing again, but not quite as good. You want to see it better or different. And that's what you did. Thank you. OK, we're going to vote. Sophia. I'm going to give you your first yes. Second yes. Second yes. Four yeses. She did it. She did it. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my goodness. Gwen. Tell me what you're feeling right now. This is the best moment of my life. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. Very nice to meet you. Who are you? Tell us all about you. My name is Ana Maria Marjan. I'm 13 years old. I come from Romania and I'm the winner of Romania's Got Talent Season 11. Oh wow. ago in the lockdown at home. I can say I was pretty bored and really had nothing to do. So I discovered a video of Terry Fader and I was really impressed. I was like, oh my God, he's so good. And the winner is Terry Fader. And I was really curious of how it worked. On my uh, 11th birthday, my parents surprised me with a puppet and uh, I named her Lizzie and we're basically best friends now. I also have other puppets. They're like my sisters, my brothers. <laughs> Ventriloquism in my country is really not that popular. So when I got the golden buzzer, I was like, is this really happening? In the finals, I was nervous, of course. Ana Maria Marjana! I try to pinch myself to see if it's real. I just couldn't believe it. After the show, my life changed completely. TV shows, interviews for newspapers. Before I went on RGT, me and my family lived in a, in a small apartment. Now we are living in a house, and it's just so good being able to live in the house you built. Every time I saw someone on AGT, I was thinking, what if I got to be there someday? And now I'm here and I feel really special. It would be amazing to have my own Vegas show like Terry. That would be my dream. <laughs> Crazy pressure. This is Waldo, my risky dog. Yep, I rescued her. <laughs> <laughs> um, I rescued you. The filter told me on Instagram and TikTok, I hate ticks. He is so difficult. He's my personal assistant. Um, Waldo, I'm in charge. Yeah, but Anna, listen. <laughs> I'm not the son of your little boys. You don't own me. I kinda do. Don't I need you? Cause I never stay. You can't even sit. She's still in training. Mazalit, I'm trying to sing here.
you one. I mean, you are Thank incredible. You. I mean, you're gorgeous. You can sing so beautifully. I love your furry friend. And it was funny too. I love all the banter and the jokes. Thank you. <laughs> I was laughing, and I cannot believe your story that you just started doing this during lockdown. Like, this is, you don't even have two years under your belt. That's right. <laughs> that is amazing. And how did you get the puppet? Did your parents buy it for uh, you? Well, my mom actually made it for me. She I made mean, that? It is particularly cute. It's not is... a real doll. She is a ventriloquist. <laughs> singing. Oh. Yes. This Simon doesn't understand how these things work. The fact that this was something that you looked up online, the fact that you were inspired by people you saw on America's Got Talent, you are an AGT all-star. The super fans are gonna love you. Absolutely. Now that you know that this is not a real dog, what did you think? Still like it. <laughs> I love today, all of you, because you're all so competitive. And for me, I love seeing someone who's won from another country come to America to compete again. It's just really, really exciting when you see the best of the best compete with each other. And you are really funny. And I really like your doll. Thank you. No, I really do. I mean, Have your mother you. make Simon one. I will ask her, but I'm sure she'll say yes. <laughs> wow. Oh, look how he's begging, begging. so nicely. He's begging. Thank you very much. Best of luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. She was good. Yeah. She was really good. Thank you so much. Oh, <laughs> Hello, Terry. Hello. How are you? I'm wonderful. I just want to say that all that cheers was for me. Oh, well, yes, I think it was for Winston, for sure, yes. You won season two. Yes. You then signed one of the biggest Vegas contracts of all time. How many times? Uh, three times. Three times. Yes. Terry, in terms of variety, you have inspired more contestants than yeah. anyone on any show around the world. Oh, thank you. This man is a legend. You know, you didn't have to come back and compete on this show. Why did you? Well, because, I mean, uh, 15 years ago, I started to inspire people. Now I've got a whole new set of audience and fans out there to inspire. We got to keep inspiring people. That's why I'm here. I started doing ventriloquism when I was 10 years old. While all the other kids were playing athletics and doing, and doing all the things that the girls liked, I was doing anything that I could just to get in front of people with my puppets. You know, my entire career before I went on America's Got Talent, people just did not take me seriously. I was performing at county fairs and uh, elementary schools, and I was living paycheck to paycheck, so I did have those moments where I thought, should I quit? I mean, is this really going where I want? I went into the audition of America's Got Talent. I was 42 years old, thinking, this is it. I don't know if I'm ever going to get another shot at this. Oh, no, I'm in trouble. Where is Terry Were you as shocked as you appeared to be when you won? Completely stunned, yeah. Stunned. I didn't think America was going to vote a ventriloquist as the best act in the country. <laughs> Willy Wonka said, do you know what happened to the little boy that suddenly got everything he wanted? He lived happily ever after. I signed the biggest deal in the history of Las Vegas up to that point. I hear you're in Vegas. That's right, just having the time of my life. Five years for a hundred million dollars. I mean, talk about rags to riches. I got the chocolate factory and more. America's Got Talent is the reason I have had all of my dreams come true. I'm actually quite starstruck. Yeah. And now, being a part of AGT All-Stars is my chance to take the world by storm. He is really nervous. I am absolutely going to be bringing my best game, and that's the way I'm going to win the show, is if I do that. Oh, it is such an incredible honor to be back on AGT All-Stars, so thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm so excited. So Winston, I know everybody is curious, and I am too. What, what are you planning on doing for us? I'm gonna sing the prayers on Jerry Adelcelli 
In Italian. No, I don't know any songs in Italian. I do. What? Well, I didn't get to practice. Well, that is okay. Me and Sign Lin practiced before the show. Oh, by the way, Sign Lin, you need to cut your fingernails, buddy. Oh! <laughs> 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 Nel cuore resterà. Wow. A ricordarci che l'eterna stella se e la fede che hai accesso in noi. Sento che ci salverò. Terry, you know what my prayer is? What is your prayer? I would love to one day share the stage with Elton John. Well, Winston, America's Got Talent is where prayers are answered. Ladies and gentlemen, Elton John! <laughs> Wait a second. Wait, stop the music. What? What's wrong, Elton? Let's do this right. Where's my million dollar piano? What? She packed my bags last night, three flight. Oh my goodness! Zero hour, not a year. And I'm gonna be high. There's a guy by the Hey Elton, let's do a duet. Okay, I'll do the Dua Lipa version. I got a better idea. How about I do a Dua Lipa version and you sing the Elton John version? Winston, that's brilliant. Sing it. Okay. And I think it's gonna be <laughs> a long, long time. Yes. This touchdown brings me round again to find another man to think I am my Oh, oh, no, 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 I'm a rocket man. Everyone clap along. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time. Sing it, Winston. Don't mind if I do. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time. Wow! <laughs> Thank you. That is legendary, y'all. Terry Faith. Howie, what do you well, want to say to Terry? I have Terry? to say that it is not a fluke that you won AGT. It is not a fluke that you are one of the number one shows ever in Las Vegas. And the fact that you decided to come here and recompete on AGT All-Stars is a dream come true for me, everybody watching at home, everybody in this room. So thank you so much, Terry. You are a gem. Thank you, Howie. A legend. You are the OG of ventriloquists. You are amazing. It was an honor to have you here. Thank you. Well, Terry, I'm going to let you into a little secret, which is when we decided to make All Stars, we had one condition. We're only going to do it if you competed. <laughs> Seriously. Wow. wow. Because we just thought, if you're going to say we've got the best of the best, then you've got to get the best of the best. And I have so much respect for you and so much gratitude as a super fan. I would be voting you through to the final right now. <laughs> and that was obviously brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Great guy. I hope the super fans vote for him. Me too. Terry, you are the best at your crown. It's, it's a marvel to see. Thank you so much for being here, Terry. You got it. Hi. We meet again. How are you? I'm good, thanks. He was talking to me. I'm good. Okay, well, this is Jamie. Hi. Hi. And I'm Chuck. 
and Chuck. And Chuck, tell us <laughs> about both of you. I've always been into old school comedy variety acts, and in the first lockdown, I decided to teach myself ventriloquism. Oh, and wow. he's still learning. Okay. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 13. 13 years old. Is it your first time in America, by the way? This is my first time in America. And we're loving it! All right, good luck, both of you. Thank you. Well, Chuck, we're here. AGT All-Stars in LA! Judge. Oh, yeah. Shining, smiling, looking good. Heidi's hot, looking good. Thank you. <laughs> Howie's here, that's good. Don't be like that. We're meant to be impressing the judges. How about we sing a song? Yeah. Wherever we go, Whatever we do, we're gonna go through it together. Wherever I go, I know he goes. Wherever I go, I know he goes. No fits, no fights, no shoes, and no egos. And he goes together with you for me. Comedian, you have a great voice as a singer, you. and you sparkle like a little star on that stage. I loved it. Thank you. As a kid, I used to watch the Ed Sullivan Show, which was the biggest variety show on television in America. And you seemed like a classic throwback to that time. And I think families, young and old alike, who are sitting at home are gonna love it, and hopefully the super fans love it. Thank you. You know what? Part of your appeal, Jamie, is your likability. You're very charming. People just like you. And you know who you are. And you have your own lane. I'm really proud of you for coming and competing tonight. But talent we're seeing from all over the world this year, it's actually quite astonishing. Yeah. And I really hope the super fans like you. Best of luck. Thank you. It's very old-fashioned, you know, but I like it a lot. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. What's your name, please? My name is Celia. How old are you? I'm 36. 36. Where are you from? I'm from Spain. I knew that. So you've flown in to do this show, Celia. Yeah. Is this your full-time job? It was opera singer. Wow. Well, now I'm a ventriloquist. Oh, me too. <laughs> Fantastic. Since two years, yes. How did you go from opera singer to ventriloquist? Good, good question. <laughs> I mean, I was having a fun, having a red wine, and I saw, <laughs> <laughs> and I saw, I saw Terry Fighter by chance in the YouTube, and I said, wow, what is that? I'm going to try this, I'm going to try this, and then I said, I'm going to go to America and go to Stalin, and then I said, yeah, good for you. Terry Fighter, well, that, that is quick. Normally, people take about 20 years to learn how to do this, and you've done it in two years? I'm trying my best. Well, you better. <laughs> OK, Celia, good luck.
I'm nervous for this. I would like to show you how a ventriloquist gets ready before going on stage. All the voices you are going to hear are coming from me. I have my props, I have my voice, and now I'll find some music. <laughs> Manolo. Yeah, I know, I know. I can't do now. I mean, Americans got talent. Yeah, Americans got talent. Americans got talent. Yes, yes. Uh, I can't do now. I'm, I'm on the stage right now. Okay. And Sofia Vergara? Yes, Sofia Vergara. She's here. She's here. Okay. She's here. Okay. We, we talk we talk later, Manolo, okay? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Sofia Vergara. Sofia Vergara. See you, see you. Get out there, have a good time. Can't wait to see what you bring. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening to you. What is your name? My name is Paul Zerdin. Nice to meet you. Welcome to America's Got Talent. Thank you. It's fantastic to be here. And what is your act? What is your talent? I'm going to do some ventriloquism. Ooh, I love that word. So hard to say. Ventriloquism. <laughs> yeah, you said it. You well. love to say that too. I can't say it say properly. It. Ventriloquism. Ooh, that was perfect. It was. <laughs> ventriloquism. 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 I see your lips moving. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know that uh, a ventriloquist, uh, one America's Got Talent. I saw that Terry. It was fantastic. Terry Fader. I think he makes like a hundred million a year. In Vegas. So I hear right. in Las Vegas. Okay. Is that your dream? Yes. That's what is your dream? <laughs> to make a hundred million. Million? That is more than I own at the moment. Let's yes. start with one yes. on winning this one. Okay, we can't wait to see it. Thank you. You know, you can have fun being a ventriloquist, right? This is what I like to do to confuse the sound man in the sound check and make him think the microphone has gone out of sync. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? 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 <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome my friend, Sam. Sam. <laughs> so this is Sam Seller. Hello, not me then. Oh my word, what the heck? Sam, here we are, America's Got Talent. America's Got Talent, look, 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 who are these people? These are the judges. They're staring, it's rude. They're staring! <laughs> yeah, wait, 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 wait. What? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? They're all staring at you. Really? Yeah, they're looking at your mouth. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, they're all looking to see if your mouth is moving. Really? Yes, but you can't tell that way because sometimes his mouth doesn't move. My mouth doesn't move. <laughs> and you wonder where the heck is the sound coming from? <laughs> Oh. 
So, um, tonight's a nap. Tonight's a nap. Would you not talk when I'm talking? Don't worry, you're not that good. <laughs> now, hey, what? Look at the ladies. What? Mel! Hello! Heidi! Hi! Hello! Hello. How about you two ladies coming back to my suitcase? That oh, is bitch. the luggage of love. You know, once you've had puppet, you never go back. <laughs> 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 too far. I apologise. Time out. That was too much. Oi, what? You want to come back out? No, I'm going to move on. Please let me come back out, please. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Just ignore him. Just ignore him. Okay. Okay. Look. Look. Stop copying me. Stop copying me. Look. Look. Seriously. Seriously. Stop it. 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 <laughs> <laughs> You're pathetic. You're pathetic. <laughs> You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Ooh. <laughs> I can't do that. No. <laughs> I'd like to put something out to you. I'm a grown man standing here on stage having a conversation with some luggage. <laughs> and you're going for it. <laughs> That's all from me. You've been absolutely lovely. Thank you. That was a really, really, really good. And yes, you're right. We were all staring at your mouth, and it was not moving. Fantastic. Not only were you a good ventriloquist, you were a great ventriloquist, and here's why. All eyes are on you, and you're up for real inspection. And you came through five-star inspection. And I'm excited about that performance and you participating in America's Got Talent. Very difficult, very good Thank material. you, thank you. I mean, I think you just did everything, and did everything really, really well. I mean, you got all us four to stand up. You captured everybody in this room, which is a hard thing to do. Bloody great. Yeah, that Mel was saying she liked it, in case you don't understand the accent. <laughs> <laughs> You were funny, you're talented, yeah. you seem like a really nice, nice guy. guy. You do. I want to be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, the four of us gave him a standing ovation. Let's just vote together, all right? Without moving our lips. One, two, three. Yes! Yeah. Good job. See you in the next round. Can't wait. Thank you. Wow. I'm a bit bowled over by it, but um, yeah, the reaction was fantastic. That was good. Oh, wonderful. That was great. Hey. Hello. Oh, no, he left him in the suitcase. Please, somebody. Nick. Nick. <laughs> That's cute. I have two goals tonight. One is to make sure the audience and the judges are wowed. Hi. And two, that the audience and judges are safe. Welcome. Thank you. What's your name? I'm Michael Paul. And where are you from? I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Philly. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you do for a living? I have had many jobs, but through all of that, I have always been an exotic bird trainer. An exotic bird, bird trainer? trainer? Yeah. Ooh. Wow. OK, wait, so what are you going to do for us today? I brought uh, one of the birds that I've been training for quite a few years, and I hope you like it. Well, without Thank further you. ado. Thank you. Um, I'm going to ask everyone to just have a, a, a slightly quieter demeanor at first so we don't spook the end. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought it was going to be real. I did too. Uh, This is, uh, this is Willie. Willie, say hello. Say hello. <laughs> say hello. Hello. Very good there, very good. I'd like you to welcome Willie, of course, by saying hello, Willie. Hello, Willie. Very good there, nice job, okay. 
This animal uh, seems very docile in captivity, but in the wild, he is known as a bird of prey. I'm Jewish. <laughs> You're a little under control, remember this? Uh, now folks, uh, when animals are in a new environment, the biggest problem is obedience. So what a lot of zookeepers and trainers and veterinarians use uh, is a little hypnosis. And this is not a very heavy trance, but when I say sing, he will sing. When I say sleep, he will sleep. When I say crap. <clears throat> This would be a lot easier if you just do more bird things. Hey, I am a master impressionist. That's what my species does. You do jokes, I do impressions. I got it. I could do jokes. I'm sure you could. Could you do an impression? <laughs> yes, yes, I could do an impression. Go ahead, do it. <laughs> what? Do it. I will do an impression, yeah. and then you tell me who I'm doing. Okay. All right, let me think. King Kardashian. What? <laughs> you are tweeting without thinking. Donald Trump. <laughs> no. It's cheap. It's cheap. Animals, it's a crapshoot. Crapshoot. Mm, come on! <laughs> All right, now listen, I have an impression. Okay, I am not a professional. That's fine. All right, t tell me who this is. Ready? Yeah. Who's this? <clears throat> I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Elton John. <laughs> I'm gonna do one more and we're done if you don't get it. Fine, he's like the most famous person of all. Okay, ready? Yeah. Who said this? I'll be back. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Number one, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger, and number two, number two, mm, come on! <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Simon? We got completely mugged, right? <laughs> They think there's going to be a parrot there. And then that thing comes out. I mean, visually, my son Eric would love it. So you kind of appeal to five-year-olds and me, 35-year-olds. It was fantastic. Julian, that was so much fun. I was laughing hysterically. And he was pooping. I actually loved it so much. Howie. <laughs> I think you just changed your life tonight. I do. You are so good and so funny at what you do. I love you. Thank you. So far, this kind of act hasn't really been my, my jam. But you made it my jelly, my jam, my apple butter. It was so good. Yes. Thank you. Let's take it to a vote, Simon. I'm going to say yes. Thank you. Julia, 100% yes. Three yeses. You got four yeses. Yes! Today, Darcy. I am so good, but really nervous. <laughs> oh, that's fine to be nervous. Well, welcome to Champions. You are a champion. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> now, why did you want to come back and do Champions? Well, I always love a good competition, but I missed being on AGT, and maybe having a chance to have the world champion title just seems awesome. So. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, look, no pressure, but you're the first up, so let's set the standard. <laughs> Thank you. So, Oscar, are you, a, are you a little nervous to be back on AGT? Um, yeah, a little. Also, right, it's going to be so much fun. I mean, the crowd is here, the judges are here. It's, it's like we never left. Yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, Simon's even wearing the same clothes. <laughs> so, Oscar, how has your love life been since last year? Um... Well, not very good. All right, well, how about you wow all the ladies tonight with a killer song? All right, let's do it. Hit the music. Stand up. This is a different Darcy Lynn than the Darcy Lynn who won America's <laughs> Got Talent two years ago. You walk out here like a seasoned professional, and you are the epitome of a dream coming true. Thank you. <laughs> well, I have to say, Oscar, you have won my heart with that. No way. And I really do hope the super fans vote for you tonight. I really yeah. do, because we've thoroughly enjoyed watching it tonight. So thank you, thank, thank you, thank you. you. I am so happy that you're back for America's Got Talent Champions, <laughs> because you're honestly one of the most unique talents. You really are so special. Thank you. I was literally blown away by that. Apart from being so charming and funny, you've actually got this incredible singing voice. Thank you. But you've got this killer competitive instinct as well, and that's what makes you a star. There are only two spaces in the final. And I think you deserve to be the world champion. <laughs> Brilliant. My dog Irving has a statement he'd like to make. My name is Irving, and I'm running for a president. So you can vote for the black guy, or you can vote for the white guy. But if you vote for me, you get both. <laughs> Wait, you think America wants a dog in Washington? Why not? We already got a donkey, an elephant, a bunch of clowns. <laughs> All right. What's the first thing you're gonna do when you get in the White House? Mark the furniture. <laughs> What's the first thing you're gonna fix? The cat. <laughs> well, the other candidates went to college. How about you? I went to obedience school and I got, got kicked out. For what? Talking back. <laughs> 
What are you going to do for the little man and get a little woman? You got a first lady? I'm sniffing around. <laughs> you like Obamacare, Romnicare? I don't care. <laughs> but America needs answers. Why doesn't anything get done in Washington? Because Congress drags their butt more than I do. <laughs> If you're so smart, what's Obama's dog's name? Joe Biden. Have some respect, he's from the White House. Yeah, he did in the doghouse more than me. <laughs> last question. Do you have any experience in foreign affairs? Yeah, I spent last night with a French toodle. <laughs> What did she say? Who's your doggy, who's your doggy, who's your doggy, who's your doggy? Who's your doggy? Good night. God bless America. All right. Irving for president, Todd Oliver. Howard, you brought him back? Well, How did he do? I've got to say again, what a wonderful night this is. What strong talent we have this year. We're bringing people back and they're putting on a show like we've never had before. Thrills and chills and all kinds of stuff. I want to thank you for taking my advice. It proves something. You came out here, you did something typical. You know, David Letterman, Jay Leno, all the late night guys, Jimmy Kimmel, they come out and they do a topical monologue and America loves it. It translates well on TV. You kept it simple, you were topical, you were political, your ventriloquism was, you know, spot on tonight. And it was, you know what, the 90 seconds flew by. You did me proud, I'm glad I brought you back. I think America's going to enjoy what you did. It's a very original act and it's fun to watch that dog. And even your dog makes little nose movements and stuff that are unpredictable, but it just all works. It's a lot of fun. It's very Thanks. engaging. Thanks. Good job. Sharon. Todd, that 90 seconds flew by. I didn't want you to finish. I wanted you to carry on. Great material, very slick, great presentation. The whole thing worked. It's definitely a 10. Yep. Howie. You know, I, I ditto everything that my fellow judges say. And, you know, ultimately, for you, it's about the material, the material, the material. You hit the material tonight. You just made it really tough for America because this is a phenomenal night of talent. Only four people can go through to the semifinals. With this act right now, you've made more than four <laughs> great... What, what are you I'm laughing, laughing at? at? Look at Irving. Irving's Look just at Irving's staring at you. Face. He's <laughs> just like... Yes. Irving. Irving, I'm talking. Look at me. Irving, Irving, look at me. Yeah. Irving, Irving's ignoring me. Irving I like Howie. Irving likes Nick. Irving is looking let, at Nick like, like let, uh, Mariah looks at Nick. Let me finish look my thought. Look at that. <laughs> like Mariah and Nick, right there. All I'm saying is that America's going to have a tough time deciding you're worthy of it. If they want you to go through, they're going to have to vote or you will not go through. So pick up those phones and vote. Congratulations. Oh no, a ventriloquist. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, <laughs> what is your name, sir? My name is Terry Fader. I'm Emma Taylor. This is Emma Taylor. I'm a singer. Yeah, she's a singer. She does impressions of female singers. Oh. Well, show us what you got, man. All right. Hit it. What, what, what are you doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, Emma, do you know who that is? Yeah. You're going to do an impression of her? Yeah. All right. Emma Taylor. <laughs> At last. Wow. My love has come along. Wow. My lonely days are over. Can you throw one more at us, a cappella? 
Yeah, I can. Okay. Who, who you want to do? Ashley Simpson. Oh! oh Ashley Simpson. All right. All okay. Right. Do, do an Ashley Simpson. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I apologize for that. I apologize, Ashley. I thought your act was absolutely brilliant. Thank you. And I... I but... To get to a million dollars, you gotta knock us out. But you, you know, I think you're on you're on your way. Anyway, Thank that's you. just my opinion. Pierce, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, I, I have genuinely never seen a ventriloquist do uh, impressions of singers ever. So I thought that was quite amazing, actually, Thank to you. see that. Thank you. Terry, I have to tell you real up straight. When you came in, I thought, oh lordy lord, not again. Yeah. But you are quite brilliant. Thank you. Yeah. You really are. Okay, should we vote? Yes from me. Yes Here? from me. Yes from me. Okay. I made it. Yes, you did. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. They you. loved you. <laughs> To have that kind of reaction and to have the audience stand up and, wow, <laughs> it was exciting. We'll be back in a moment. I'm going to see if I can sign it to her contract. Okay. Hi. Hi. Who are you? Where are you from? Uh, my name is Jack Williams. Yes. Uh, I am from Indianapolis, Indiana. And I am guessing you are a magician. Close. I am a ventriloquist. Yes. Do you also know who is a very good ventriloquist? Right there. Exactly. Fellow ventriloquist. <laughs> yeah. We actually had three winners so far. Exactly. It's honestly big shoes to fill. Terry was one of the first ventriloquists I ever saw. And when I saw him on the stage, I just thought, like, I just want to do that. That's amazing. That's why I wanted to come here to date. I want to do this live, like, on the Vegas Strip. Good luck to you. And Thank we you. can't wait to meet your friend. <laughs> Guys, give it up for my good buddy, Foster. Ready, buddy? Yeah. Here we go. Woo! Hello. Here we are, buddy. AGT. My cloud is working. What's your plan? Well, basically, I used you to snuggle me out here, and now I'm gonna show my talent. He's funny. Yeah, he's so cute. What's your talent? Then chiloquism. That's what I'm doing right now. Really? Yes. <laughs> you think you're a better ventriloquist than me? You think you could talk without moving your lips? Well, I don't have any, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's see who's the better ventriloquist by doing some tongue twisters. I'll start by saying Sally sells seashells by the seashore and then you go after. Okay, okay. <laughs> Sally sells sea... Sally, come on, okay. Sally, it's like this. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. <laughs> Can you do that without moving your mouth? <laughs> no, no, I can't. I love him. I'm gonna do something I said I would never do. He wouldn't. I would. Please. No. I'm gonna throw your voice. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. I threw your voice, it's gone. It's gone, it's over there. <laughs> wait, 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 listen, listen, I, I think I hear it coming back. What? I, I have your voice. And that means I have your voice. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Simon. Yes. Help me. <laughs> here, here, come here, come here. <gasps> oh, that's better. Here, give it up for Foster, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
All right. What is your name? My name is John Peasy. I'm a, uh, a comedian ventriloquist. Where are you from? I'm originally born in Brooklyn, New York. Lived in Staten Island most of my life. All right. So let's see what you do. It's Howie. Hey, Howie. How you doing? Good. Good? Yeah. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. All right. <laughs> Howie. Yeah. What are you thinking today? I'm thinking about the sexual tension between me and Sharon. <laughs> Really? Yeah. You're married. I know. I can't help it. Those eyes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that body. That hair. Yes. And that voice. Yes. Uh, well, not the voice. All right. <laughs> I, I think you're being inappropriate. Let's move forward, Howie. Let's see who else is here today. Uh, oh, hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, Sharon. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Sharon, yes, what are you thinking today? I got this sexual tension between me and Howie. <laughs> let's, let's move forward. I think we all know who's next. It's Howard. Hey, now. Hey, Howard. How you doing? <laughs> hey, now. Howard? Yeah. <laughs> what are you thinking? It's obvious. What's that? The sexual tension between me and Howie. <laughs> Hey, Howie, me and you, deal or no deal? <laughs> Listen, that's disgusting. What would a man-child of you two even look like? That would be, you know, who knows? <laughs> Hi! <laughs> who, who? Hi! <laughs> who are you? I'm a baby. You look great. I do not. You do. You have a manly chin. Yes. A strong nose. Yes. A masculine cheekbones. One problem. What's that? I'm a girl. <laughs> All right. Oh, come on. Oh, it's not that good. Oh, man. I'm freaking. You guys are freaking me out. Okay, John. Yeah, I got to tell you something. I personally am not a fan of ventriloquism. Really? It re really. I'm being totally honest. But with I'm you. your baby. Oh, no, but wait. <laughs> <Dada. laughs> I now like one ventriloquist. Oh, dude! Thank you, man. Oh, man. Thank you. Yeah. I can tell you, your commitment, your hard work has really paid off for you. Uh, thank you. I, it I really, so. really yeah. has. Well yeah. done. Yeah. Right, you know, uh, I'm the first one to admire originality. You know, if I've made yes, a career on my own, I've done it being an original, and you, sir, are an original, and I love that Howard, about you. from you... That is the biggest compliment in the world. It's wonderful. You're funny. You have material. You're well thought out. Well done. Thank you're brilliant, bro. Thank you. It's a big yes. I can't wait to see what else you come up with. Thank you. Uh, Jaren. It's a yes from me. Three yeses. You're going to Las Vegas. Thank you, bro. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I love it. Dude, I'm like... I'm wow. like, I am so humbled that Howard Stern is, that tells me that I'm original because I've been listening to the guy for 30 years and to hear him say that to me, I'm like, I'm just extremely humbled. I wow. feel like, wow. It's been ahead. a long road, huh? It's been a long road. He's so humble that he couldn't even believe his success on stage. But well, you know what? You gave the him reaction. really good advice. John's going to Vegas, and we'll be right back. Thank you. Yeah. Um, well, Howard, you are. I am fantastic. Who is this? I'm Monica. And this? Princess. And you are? I'm Megan. I'm Megan Pyfus. I'm 20 years old. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm a ventriloquist. I started ventriloquism when I was 10 years old. I mean, I was always really, you know, shy, not the talkative one in the group. Ventriloquism was so interesting to me. It wasn't just performing, it was acting, too. You could tell a story, tell jokes. Even though I was really shy, all of that kind of yeah. went away when I was on stage. My mom is a teacher. My dad is a pastor. I don't think my parents ever really wanted me to get into performing. They wanted me to, you know, become a doctor or a lawyer. But I knew I wanted to perform. I would love to make my parents proud. Oh, man. This is really life-changing, and so I think I see all my dreams coming true through it.
What's your name? I'm Megan. You brought two friends with you. Yeah, I did. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 20. It's so unusual to see a 20-year-old who's into ventriloquism these days. What happened? Did you have a lonely childhood? Were you just locked in a room somewhere by yourself? I was shy, and so I started ventriloquism, and I really opened up and had lots of opportunities to it. Good. Well, I can't wait to see it. Let's see what you got. Okay. I'm intrigued. Okay, we're ready. <laughs> we're gonna do a tribute to Whitney Houston. I'll set this up. <laughs> a few stolen moments oh, wow. is all that we should. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, God. I think we should sing Call the Other Song. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I think you have an amazing voice and you perform great. I think that you have star quality. Thank you. Howard, what did you think? I don't think people realize just how hard that is. You have an incredible singing voice, which Thank is you. remarkable that you can do it, not move your lips, operate these puppets, make them come to life. Yeah. I'm a big, big fan. Good for you. Howie. Stunning. You are amazingly talented you have an amazing singing voice a range from pop to opera and i just now have become a fan of ventriloquist now listen i think you are what this show is all about you're different so welcome young lady thank you thank welcome you. <laughs> let's vote guys I'm super enthusiastic about today because of you. It's a yes for me. I'm voting yes. Thank you. Thank you. It's a yes for me, my lovely. Thank you. Thank you. And for me, it's a yes. You have four yeses. Thank you. We'll see you in Vegas. I love it. When she does the singing shtick, she's right on yeah. and it's great. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> this is your big moment. Your this big shot. I'm ready. Go get him. I'm ready. Thank all you. Right. <laughs> Hello. Hi there. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. What's your name? I'm Dr. Bob Baker. I am a gastroenterologist. It's a, it's a tummy doc, or as my kids call me, the poop meister. I gotta, I gotta say something. First of all, I want everyone to know that this gentleman is my personal doctor. That's number one. I want to come clean because I'm a judge here. I am not kidding, and I'm shocked because this is the man who has not only given me a colonoscopy. Oh my word! He has literally had his hand uh, in the most embarrassing place that you can put a hand. What is this? What you're telling? What do you? Go, you're not going to do this in front of us. I'm a ventriloquist. No! Yes. Uh, the guy that sticks his finger up you is a ventriloquist. <laughs> he works me like a puppet. <laughs> I will recuse myself from voting for, number one, in the interest of fairness, because I have a personal relationship with this man, probably more personal than I do with my wife. Well, fair. <laughs> <laughs> and secondly, there is no way in the world that I would tell the man who puts, who puts his <laughs> fingers in weird places in me, I would never tell you. him he... In fact, I'd give him a million dollars right now so he doesn't do anything <laughs> weird to me. Do your show. Thank you very much. So may I introduce you to the world's only talking large intestine. Uh. 
So this is what it looks like when the sun does shine. I have to tell you, it's a little strange talking to a colon. Really? Your friends say you're always talking out your ass. <laughs> you're not a surgeon, are you? No good. I hate surgeons. Last week, some surgeon operated on a colon buddy of mine. Cut him right in half. Now he's a semicolon. That was terrible. Hey, my jokes are supposed to be crap. What's your excuse? <laughs> That's Sigmund Cohen. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, Heidi. I can't help but see Howard when I look at you without <laughs> hair. I see Howard. And without hair, it's so weird. I thought you were imagining that too. <laughs> okay, Mel B. I didn't get it. I really wanted to get it, and I feel sorry for you that you have to see him nude. <laughs> Honestly, I think that this is very likable and it's fun, but I don't see it being ready for a million dollar app. Mel B. It's a no from me. I'm sorry. Bob, please don't take this out on me. <laughs> You're my man. <laughs> the only guy I trust to do that kind of probing. Thanks be so much, right. everybody. You're gonna be okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Would you guys put I through my doctor? Who cares no. what you think? No, he wasn't funny. Suddenly you have integrity? He was not funny. <laughs> that man's gonna be angry at me now. Thanks. Uh, I really appreciate the opportunity. Thanks. All right. Man. Pleasure. Right. Okay, Take care. I'm going to present to you the roast of Simon Cowell. Oh. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage the king of the nerds, Don McMillan. Oh. So I got into my comedy labs. I did a big data analysis, right? I looked at Simon's likes and dislikes, and I charted them, because I'm me. And so here we go. We'll start with his dislikes. Uh, number one, PowerPoint. If I'd known that, I would have done something completely different in my audition. 3% likability, that's really not likable. Uh, number two, uh, shaving. The man does not own a razor, right? No, maybe you do shave, you're just so masculine, the minute you finish, boom, the hair pops back out. Uh, at 1%, Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Parmesan, Parmesan. Uh, clowns, if you know, he hates clowns. Yeah, I, I can't even stay on this slide. And finally, the biggest dislike, minus 6% is uh, falling off a bike. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry. Too, too soon? Have you thought about training wheels? That's all I'm saying. That's all. <laughs> yes. So Sophia. You, you did so much magic in two and a half minutes that I don't even know what I was seeing. You made me believe in magic. This is amazing. This was better than your audition. And I really want to know what Simon thinks. Simon, did he win you over? I think I helped you. No! I do. I really, really do. I the think magic that Simon. no, by me saying no at the auditions, I think has pushed you to be a better magician. <laughs> and I'm very happy to say on live television, I am officially an idiot. Yeah! No. <laughs> How are you? I don't want to give a standing ovation to. Let me to Howard Stern, because I think you made the best choice. He this did. is probably the best wild card. Uh, please, Nobody please, has done please, better. Hug it out. Kiss, kiss, Hug kiss, it out. Kiss, kiss, They're gonna kiss, kiss on live kiss, TV. Kiss, 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 they were arguing. Oh! I think I see tongue. There was tongue involved. Magic is definitely in the air. Oh my God! Oh. You did it! Oh. Howie, oh. you both did it! They kissed on live television. Where's my wife? <laughs> and it Hi, my name is Vanessa, and I'm from South Pasadena. My question for Simon is: What animal do you think you look like the most? I think it's a lemur. And I remember seeing a nature program once and I thought, that actually looks like me. Sophia, 
The chihuahua that you posted this morning on your Instagram story, is that yours? And do you have more? I have two chihuahuas in my life. One is my son, and the other one was supposed to be my dog, but she hates me and loves my husband, and she's a very bad dog. And we have a question for Heidi. I would love to know what her most embarrassing moment is. I have four children, and I would say to them, everything I do is embarrassing. Ah! What's up, Darcy? Hey. I'm looking for a partner, you know? Maybe we can do something. You do ventriloquism? What? Oh, do I? <laughs> Bam! That wasn't even me who said that. Is that a sock? No, it's not. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, Z, You're moving your mouth. Yellow. Come on. You can do better. Why are you being me? You're still moving your mouth. <laughs> you don't even know what I'm talking about now. This is never going to work. Awkward. So if you had to be on a desert island for the rest of your life with either me or mummy, who would it be? Why? Why? Like father, like son. Are you trying to do my job? Are you? What do I do? Ooh. That is my job. Just like your daddy. I think maybe you need a little better choreography. Yeah, I was disappointed, sorry. I always want more parmesan, but I'm in Paris. I always want more parmesan, but I'm in Paris. Beautiful. I what feel the same way. I lyric. always want more Parmesan. Thank I was you. right there. I know. I know. Why are they so stingy on the Parmesan? Parmesan. It's disgusting. What? No. Uh, I don't know why I'm even having this conversation yeah. anyway. Because I don't like Parmesan. I don't like your song. So I'm saying no. I gotta say, I didn't, I didn't love it. Sophia, it's a no. I don't know what was happening. Wow. Oh my God. Pour me shot. Pour me shot. Pour me shot. Pour me shot. Yes. No. Now we, I, I want to say this from from my heart here. Uh, what you have done for the show and as a friend, as one of the most amazing people I've ever worked with, oh, wow. I wanted to pay you a tribute to show your significance, and most importantly, your importance for the 10 years you've been on the show. Over to you, Terry. Hey, it's out on Sunset Boulevard, okay? Let's take what? a look. Here Sunset we go. Boulevard. Count it down with me, people. Where am I looking? Five, four, oh. Three, two, one! And that didn't sit well with a lot of people online. Right. Uh, right. How do you respond to that? Um, I'm not responding to them. You but, should apologize. You know what? The competition was brutal. The, and, and last night, we had the highest of highs and then some incredible, for me, personal disappointments. And we are here, and we are all paid, to be honest. I am brutally honest. That's why it was brutal. Good luck to everyone. But you sometimes are also grumpy. I'm not grumpy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and also, I'm, I'm translating. She said grumpy. Okay. Well, you they know what? Me. This is a good sign. Listen, Sophia, a lot of the judges, you guys disagreed on a lot of the acts last night. Why do you think that was? 
Um, well, we, well okay. first of all, we have different tastes, and we, we all have the same taste. Some of them don't know what they, <laughs> what they, what they're supposed to know. Uh, I know everything grumpy? we know. <laughs> how, how is grumpy sometimes, and Simon is sometimes loco, so it, there's <laughs> nothing. Well, I admit it. I do admit it. <laughs> no. Hey, Heidi. Your hand binoculars are ridiculous. Stop it. You don't understand. They're not binoculars. Yes, they are. No. What it does, it takes the light outside from the outside sense. and it gets darker around and then I can actually see better. I need to my focus glasses. focus into some parts yes, sometimes. Exactly. So it's not it so bright. Because when it's so bright, I can't see what they're doing and I need to judge. So my family and I are watching AGT and my dad says, is Beyonce always on this? It's Tyra Banks. <laughs> Or is it? Blue Ivy, Blue Ivy, sit down right now. Mama got to host this show, Blue. AGT made Simon Cowell so soft. Oh, good oh, Why no. Why am yes, I for me. I want Simon the Savage back. The one who crushed dreams and made people cry for fun. <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. That is Heidi having lunch. Do you feel it's Heidi chewing something? Heidi chewing chips. Sounds like a hamster is eating something. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the guy crushing the nuts with his butt cheeks. Mr. Cherry, I love him. It was hard. It really hurt. Can I introduce you to Mr. Grumpy? I have it. You wow. want to meet him? Yes. This is Mr. Grumpy. Oh my gosh, Mr. Grumpy. Hi, Mr. Grumpy. It's so nice to meet you. Oh, uh, hi, Darcy. Hi, Sophia. I wow. haven't seen you in a long time. You look beautiful. You look young every day. So how, how long have you, how long have you been doing? Oh, I've done it for 11 years. 11 Can years. You wow, it's amazing. Mr. Grumpy would get along well with my friend Edna. Edna, Edna, where are you? Hi. Oh, oh hi, Edna. You are very old. What? You're very old. What? Old. Hello, darlings. Sophia, I don't just like Edna. I love Edna. Moving, I can do this too. He's moving his lips. There was, you know, we were deliberated a lot about whether we put you through to the final. I think Howie in particular didn't want you to be here. Oh, yes. And no. I said, no, you know what? No. I don't care what you say, Howie. No. They're going through to the finals. And you know what? I was right. And you know what I love about you? <laughs> it's different. And it's yeah. difficult. Okay. And I like people who take that moment. And you took that moment. And we're going to remember yeah. you. For me, yeah. best act of the night, only two are going through, remember. You've got to vote. Howie Canada represent. Yeah, he's a liar, eh? <laughs> no, I'm he's not. He's a real liar, eh? The only thing I'm mad at is that you worked on Canada's Got Talent. You would have won Canada's Got Talent. You guys are so fucking good. <laughs> we got another question from Zach, who is a big Mel B fan. What's your question, Zach? Hey, Rip. <laughs> It's like, his, it's like his first time online. <laughs> <laughs> Sit back, young man. He's excited. Thank you so much. Hi, Girl Power, Melanie. My question is, <laughs> what exactly does off the chain mean? It means that I'm hey, really so excited good. about the act, and I think it's, like, amazing. So I say it's off the chain, as in, like, wowza. <laughs> yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> the definition of off the chain is wowzer. Yeah. You know what I mean? He understands. He gets it. I do. <laughs> Great job, Zach. <laughs> the password is magic. Did you just look? No. Not at the... Are no. you guys talking? No. Freak. Magic. Yeah! Yes! 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 Magic is the correct <laughs> word. That is cheating. Who heard him tell me the word? That's that cheating. That means that you were cheating already. <laughs> him, They're him, cheating him, 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 him. because they heard you cheating. <laughs> Bye. 
All right, this is the I'm final sweating. clue. The we clue? are actually tied at the moment, <laughs> and we are going to start with Howie. The okay. password is... Ready? Million. Dollars. Million. Oh! He's right! Thank That's you very it. much, everyone. Snack.